Oh boy. Remember when he said that Terra was heading to peaceful times and wars were ending and such? Yeah? We'll forget all of that. The war we thought we were going to get is now in Mars intention all over the place, a dead is now on the horizon, and nothing will ever be the same. Okay, that's too much. But! To begin with, Montion finally got their hands on the pilot who was carrying the bioweapon. Unfortunately, the pilot was a puppet who could pretend to be a person, and it exploded, killing our beloved Admiral Levington in the process. Things just got worse since the body of Levington came back from the dead and scratched Napoleon, infecting him with the virus, which now we know is called the T4 virus. Nobody knows this besides a handful of people. The city of Elysian had to be evacuated so the hazardous materials regiment could set up the bioweapon. They got attacked though by a huge horde and died horribly, but not without activating it. This unfortunately killed 50 Borkrishan HMR soldiers who were nearby without their protection gear. In Blackwood, the Empress and all her royal members have joined Hachigoro and become the new province of Kinojo, giving hope for more peaceful days for the Blackwoodian citizens who have been fighting non-stop for the last two years. Or so they thought. The Great Shiyuan Republic didn't like this and decided to invade to conquer the province of Kinojo and make it part of their country just like they did with Santa Cruz. This caused a lot of problems, which I'll be listing right now. Number 1. Hachigoro declared war on Ziyuan and started planning their counter-offensive to invade their mainland. Number 2. The CFN had a meeting where they had to discuss how to deal with Ziyuan and their hunger for land. The results were not great. Number 3. The state of Arad being a close ally of Hachigoro decided to step in to help them and declare war on Ziyuan, who were close allies as well. Let's see what the population is going to say about that. Number 4. During the meeting, a lot has been talked about combining all members' forces and striking Siyuan to capture or kill their leader. However, to do that, it had to be a unanimous vote, and so far, several countries don't want to get involved in this conflict. Number 5. One of the countries that opposed this idea was Slagarni, as they are a close ally of the Siyuanese. This made them state that they would leave the CFN if they did not leave their ally alone, which several countries didn't like especially Hachigoro, who then cut all ties with them and declared them as a hostile country. And number 6, this could cause the rupture of the CFN, which for the last year has been working hard to ensure the safety and prosperity of all Terran countries. On the bright side, the war between East Heaven and Bajabat ended with Bajabat ceasing to control Mobuluka Island. The inhabitants expressed their desire to be independent and thus the Republic of Ise was officially founded. Oh, I almost forgot. This was seen by the Bakrishan soldiers near Sunset Bay, where their refugee camp is located. And that's it for today's recap. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.